Hello! So today I will be doing a video on something that people have been asking me for for about the past two years and I can finally show everyone my whole workout routine and all the things I do and yeah so I am excited for this one because if you know me you know I'm always at the gym and I just love being there and working out so yeah when I started going to the gym I knew nothing about the gym I was like this, I was super skinny. I was 17 and I was I think 95 pounds and I was always known in school for being super, super skinny. You know, you look at other girls and they have nice butts and they got hips and stuff and some of them are born with it and you're just like, oh my gosh, why wasn't I? And yada, 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 all that self-deprecation stuff. So I started going to the gym and from there, I just kind of never stopped. I loved going and I, like I said, I knew nothing about it. So a lot of even the workouts I'm gonna explain, I have no idea what they're called. I call them random things that probably sound funny and are probably completely incorrect, but I know how to do them. So yeah, I'm excited to show this to you. So this workout, they're pretty much deadlifts, but with your hands together and remember to keep your posture straight. I don't really know what much else to say about it. That's pretty much what it is. You should feel it kind of in your butt and your hamstrings because when you get to the bottom, your butt does this thing, it like ticks a little bit. And then it's because you're feeling it there and it's like, okay, come back up. Like gotta like squeeze and yeah. So now we have Romanian deadlifts. I really don't know because I've been calling these deadlifts forever. And then I found out they were Romanian and then there's a different one that I think is the regular deadlift. Point is you, um, you do these deadlifts <laughs> and they're really good. Once again, for your hamstrings and your butt because your hamstrings, when they get all nice and plump and not plump, but firm, they lift up your butt and you get the shelf. Like before, keep your back straight. Make sure your shoulders are back because that helps a lot. Like you'll, you'll feel the difference immediately if you're doing it wrong. And keep your hands going along your shins. So you can see in the video, I hope, because I'm not looking at the video right now, but I hope you see it that the bar is pretty much like, if you could drag it across your shins without it hurting, that's like, you know, that's how to do it. And then when you come up, just squeeze the glutes. And yeah, you're gonna make a whole bunch of ugly faces, but your butt will look great. So I call these cross squats. I don't know if that's what they're called. So it's like, like the way you see my hands is how my legs cross. Like this one's in front and then this one's in front and then this one. I do four sets for 40 seconds because I am absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible with cardio and that's how I get part of my cardio fix in because I really don't like it. Those are gonna burn your quads a lot. Those are really good as a finisher, like if you wanna like burn out at the end and if you can do more than 40 seconds, you should because my body's just not made for that and I'm trying to build it up. But if you have the energy, do it because you will feel it and it'll burn and you will have like frog legs. That's, that's like my ideal if I had the legs of a frog because their thighs are freaking huge. So these things are for your calves. And when I started doing them, I was doing them so wrong because I didn't feel them anywhere. It's all about your foot positioning because everybody positions their feet really different on this, but mine, I kind of put them slightly out. My shins are straight. So if your shins go like this or your shins go like this, they shouldn't, they should be going straight. But my thighs are spreading out with straight shins. I hope that makes sense. And then my feet, if you look at the bottom of my feet, they're slightly like this. Oh my gosh, I just got a Snapchat. The, whatever's on the side of your leg, that thing is gonna flex like crazy. And it's like, if you like imagine the strings in your muscles, that's that's what's like poking out crazy and looking nuts on your leg. When whenever you, you lift up, when you lift the weight up. So that's my description for that one. I like it a lot because I got to a point where I was like, my calves don't match my thighs. Like, you know when people get like, you know, BBLs and stuff and their thighs don't match their butt? Well, I found out after my thighs got a little too big that my calves didn't match my thighs. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have like triangle legs. It just, it didn't feel right. So I've been working on my calves and I love them. Like, I love it. So if you're interested, do that. Okay, so for these, I didn't even know about this machine until I got to my gym because I switched gyms after the pandemic because the one I go to now is a lot cleaner. I didn't think that this did anything because I was so used to the leg press. But for this, you have to brace your core a lot because if you don't, like you get all sloppy and then it doesn't feel the same on your legs and stuff. 
and for these your legs are at like a pretty wide stance not like complete sumo squat but like pretty wide you just got to push through these these hurt they i don't know how else to say it. they hurt and position your legs a little higher on the the platform that your feet are on i put 115 pounds on each side so that's 230 plus whatever weight of the machine and i do five sets of 10 for those and for any other ones that i don't say the reps and sets for it's most likely four sets of 12. So yeah, for these, I just call, I mean, the, the machine says hamstring curls and I think that makes sense. So hamstring curls. I do these um, four sets of 65 and on a good day where I'm like, mm, I got energy, I'll do five sets. It's, it's the identical movement to like doing bicep curls. So if you do bicep curls and you feel that, like when you get to the end, you're like, ah, your legs feel like that. And it's insane, like, I don't know, but when you push up, like not push up, but when you, you know, do the curl, when you're at that weak part, like these make me feel like a monster. Like if I had to imagine the way the Hulk feels when he gets all hulky, that's how I feel for those. I don't know if you see it in this video. I keep looking down and then I keep looking in the mirror because I'm giving myself a pep talk of like, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, but it hurts. And my face, when I do these, does this thing or go like this. I do it for a lot of them, but this one especially, I go like, oh, in my list of like workouts and stuff. I just have this written out as open leg machine. I know, I know it says glute machine, like glute machine or no hip abductor or maybe hip something with your hips. But I'm just like, whatever. I feel it in my glutes. I spread my legs. I just put spread leg machine and then parentheses put glutes because it, it helps me remember. So for this, I have this on 155 pounds and I do five sets of 12. And it hasn't, you know, done me dirty. It's, it's been pretty good. And I do this at the beginning of every workout. For these calf exercises, I don't know why, but I love them, like a lot. These are the ones that if you go crazy with these, like you're gonna get that weird walk afterwards where it's like, you're doing, like the leg day walk. When guys exaggerate about leg day and stuff and they're walking all stupid, that's, that's the walk that you get with this workout. It's like, an extended version of the one where you're sitting. And just like that. And I do this at 95 pounds, five sets of 15, because I feel like you need to do more because like you don't feel the burn as quickly as you would on your quads or any other body part. I love these. These are what give you, um, I call it the drumstick. Like, you know the drumstick like on chicken and stuff? And you know how it's like real, real meaty and then it's skinny? And you know some guys have like these huge like kinds of calves. So obviously like I don't want those but it works out that muscle and that it gets that to get bigger and stuff so like, even like when you look at yourself from the side you see like the nice little like lump in your calf I personally I'm a fan of that if you're not you should still do it because if you do it at a lower weight you'll just tone them but me I like them like I'm thick this is one that I just kind of throw in there even if it's not on my list of workouts to do like if I have the energy I'm like yeah I'll do it so yeah okay I saved this one for last because one, I think everybody kind of knows that this is like the holy grail for thick thighs and, you know, just thickness all together all over your legs. The leg press. I love it. I love it. I love it. I didn't know about it for my first six months of like ever going to the gym. And then I found it because it's in the back of my old gym. And I was like, ah! like I immediately saw results. This gets your quads like crazy. I'm personally a fan of big quads, big quads and big glutes. So if that's what you're a fan of, get on this. So if you have your feet like this, like imagine like this, there's an imaginary platform here, whatever. So if your feet like this, these are quads. Feet like this, those are, I think your outer thighs. Those, yeah, cause I do those, those are outer thighs. It's a really good leg workout for just all of your leg. I put four, plates of 45 on each side so 360 pounds plus whatever the machine is which is sometimes they say like it's about like 100 so it's about 560 pounds that you're pushing and it seems hard but it's not that bad so the way that my workouts usually work is i have a whole list of all my workouts like every type of thing that i do and i'll make sure i'll do four like workouts per like session i named all these in this video but in one day, I'm only doing four of them. 
And then the next day, I'm not repeating any of them. I'm doing another randomly selected four, depending on how I'm feeling that day. I feel like it's easy not to get bored that way because if you keep doing the same thing every day, that's when it gets really like tiresome and that's not good for your body either. So yeah, I have a few more leg workouts. If you want a part two, let me know. There's about six other workouts that would be in that video. If you want to see all the other workouts and if you want to learn about all the other things that I do, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not an expert, but I have made progress. Should I put a progress picture? I'm gonna put a progress picture. I'm gonna put it right here, right? Should that fit? I think it fits. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm happy with this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something and good luck on your workout endeavors.